History naturally provides us with ways of teaching because knowing the history of an idea can often lead to deeper understanding. In our project, we try to develop and implement history infused curriculum using teacher researcher collaboration. My objectives for the students uh, were mainly to uh, create a solid foundation for mathematics uh, based on mathematicians in the past and also to create an engaging environment for students to explore beyond the classroom and also to get students to be thinking about problem solving while they learn the mathematics and not just dry concepts. A brief history, historical background to um, trigonometric identities. Uh, we also saw Elia and Hippakis, um, who's been credited uh, with the discovery or invention of trigonometry. Um, and Elia and Hippakis were yeah, astronomy, because when Trimus were still developing, um, it was very tied to astronomy, and like, astronomers were the ones who were figuring out all the trigonometries. Um, they used a very, very primitive form of a trig or Pythagorean triples type table. So it wasn't exactly what we have today, but it was the very first steps to developing those types of tables. So we're, we want to we want to start with the more complicated side. Okay. So who can please read the second step for me? Okay. So we look at this and then we know that this in the example we get this at the end. And so we know that there's this one must disappear for and so you need to do something to make it disappear. And so this stays the same. You cancel this out. And so in the end, we will just get this. And then exactly like that. And this is an example of the early uses of the And then here. The package? Yeah. He's down here. Um, <laughs> it's considered the founder of Trey. What did I learn? I learned a great deal, <laughs> but I can tell you, watching myself on video uh, for this project um, actually helped me to modify my practice in, in tremendous ways. Um, it's out of my comfort zone to listen to myself speak uh, or even watch myself. And so uh, I find that the more I looked at the videos, I was able to see things I was doing wrong by way of posture, by way of my tone of voice, and by way of um, accessing students' needs. Yeah, I think it did, um, because now that I know someone in a room didn't just make it to have a suffer in class and in school. Um, they created it because they loved what they did and wanted to help other people. Um, we researched the general history of how trig came to be, and then we focused specifically on um, trig identities, and then we linked the history of um, the trig identities to how we use it today to prove and verify um, more complex identities. I think it's pretty interesting to have it like incorporated into the lesson because it makes it easier to understand since like you don't just learn this thing, you kind of learn the background of it and then it makes it more easy to understand. discovered math that's still relevant today and we can still use it today like the trick identities and the what's his name guy that we learned today like he uses those things we learn in pre-calculus where we think we will never use it but maybe we might if we major in a science major or something I mean 
then I like it because it's more interesting. It's like story and math, story about math. Yeah, I think it's cool. Mm -hmm.